Hey guys, let's um, let's do a review of Speakers Corner yesterday, which was the 28th of October. It was probably a day of mentally unstable people, in my view. Let's tackle it one by one. Let's work backwards, though. Right at the end, a financial trading student asked me to stop technical trading because he said it, it has been proven not to work. His claim was based on what his lecturers or his teachers had told him um, and to prove that technical trading doesn't work. He showed me his study book. Okay, so I said to the chap, I said, listen, mate, I've been doing it successfully for 10 years, but that wasn't good enough for him. But he, he brought up a good, good point. And the point is, you should never have more confidence than you have intelligence. What you should have done is ask me what techniques and methods I use to prove what I do is successful. And in his defence, actually, most people who do trading and are not part of a brokerage or an investment bank do feel. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. Um, because most of them don't find out the tricks that do work. So, I'm not obviously going to discuss my secrets. Um, well, I will do, but I want to make proper videos so those who do want to trade, then they can do. But just to clarify, um, charts should not be used, and I do not use charts simply to come in and out of the markets. Really, I use charts to comprehend the pressure in the market, in what likely um, direction the market is likely to go. And then I look for the trigger. What do, you, what do I mean by the trigger? A trigger is basically what he would call a market fundamental. So, for me, it's economic data, so I use an economic calendar. So, to give you an example, um, say I am looking at the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And it looks as if the market for the US dollar favour is going to become bullish, it's going to go up. And I wait for the interest rate decision to come through. And it does, and it's in favour of the US dollar, then you would buy. But but there's loads of other tricks. I mean the guy hasn't even got to the stage where you can use options so you cover everything. Which is the easiest way to technical trade. What do I mean by that? Options can be used as as insurance against your trade. So if the trade goes against you, you're covered. But anyway, he was very young. I don't I don't want to be too cruel on him. He was very young. He, I don't you know still learning. But um but yeah that's that. So prior to that and the reason why I ignored him because he was acting like a bit of a moron um, because I was, um, I was looking at uh, what was going on. Um, Betty had called out Raspect for his gang rape comments. Um, you know, Betty is a abuse survivor, a strong woman, and uh, obviously Raspect was bang out of order for making those comments. Um, the videos are going to be going up. Some of them are probably already up by other people, but um, yeah. So that was that, and prior to that, Raspect and uh, other members of gang tried to intimidate Banksy. Um, that failed, 
Uh, Banksy was not in intimidated. Grown men walking around with handkerchiefs over their face. It's not a good look. I tried to uh, calm things down. I had my head bitten off by Rambo, who I respected as a senior, but um, he showed um, instability as well, uh, which is unfortunate. I do not think it was a good PR day for gang. Um, I think it was very bad. They came out, came across as um, very bad, um, not good role models. Having said that, there was one diamond. Um, I didn't get to converse with him, and that was a gentleman referred to as Raven. He actually seemed emotionally and mentally stable. Um, I can't say. I can't say too much. Of the, I can't say the same of the other members of gang, unfortunately. Um, but Raven seemed like a, you know, clued up, stable guy, which was good to see. Um, there were two members of gang standing next to me and conversing with me. I didn't have any issues with them. You know, we exchanged thoughts and we exchanged comments. I don't know the name. One's very tall, and the other one is is about my size. They weren't very happy with Banksy. Um, but in a nutshell, Raspet, I don't know if he did it by colluding or he tricked everyone, but Raspet had a disagreement with Bagsy on my live stream and he turned that around to be a, a race issue. It wasn't. So I don't know if that was a policy for everyone in gang or they were duped into thinking that, um, that Bagsy... Um, is racist when he's not. He's Iranian. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, prior to that, um, I met a really nice spiritual guy. And this guy, he doesn't want to be named, so I'm not going to um, name him, but this guy shared some very personal experiences with me. And he's going through one amazing transformation in his life. I'm looking forward to, to meeting him again, actually. So hopefully he'll, he'll become a regular at Speaker's Corner. Um, oh, some of the things he told me just um, blew my mind. The visions he's having. Um, everything from astral projection um, to... Um, you know, crazy dreams that come into reality, um, blatant signs of, of, of spirituality manifesting and communicating with him. But like I said, I don't want to share his his personal exact experiences. It's not for, for me to say, it's for him. But I was humbled. I'm very happy that he chose, um, chose to speak to me about it. So, you know, thank you very much. Even before that, um, Raj gave his speech. Oh, can't believe I'm, I'm going to say this, but it's a pretty good speech. It's well done, Raj. Um, I should have given mine straight after, but I decided not to. For no particular reason. Probably because I didn't want to take the limelight away from Raj. But even prior to that, Raj picked out a chap called Mohin Khan... Um, let's say it wasn't a, it wasn't a good good day for Mr Khan either. Um, he offered Raj out and seemed to scare up to a woman or certainly somebody standing next to a woman. Um, but I didn't. Obviously, he had he was feeling uncomfortable with the intention uh, he was receiving. But Raj uh, Raj um, decided not to um, not to be too kind to him because obviously Raj is um, has been. Um, you know, bullied by, we're well not bullied by the chap, but um, the guy apparently hacked his account and he was disrespectful to Raj's turban. So, quite rightly, Raj called him out. But also, a few people came and said hello to me, that was really nice, and um, I'm glad the live streams are reaching so many people. Um, so, yeah, that was um, that's a very humbling experience. Um, but overall, that's kind of a synopsis. Um, I suppose I should apologise to Raj for questioning his sources about Amir Singh. So well done. 
Um, but overall, um, people stood up to the bullies, uh, which was nice to see. And, um, you know, I think Speaker's Corner could be turning a page into a better and brighter future. That's it. I'm going to do a live stream tonight. I'm going to get uh, Sir Knight Banksy style on and um, he can tell us what his experience and thoughts were. Um, it's going to be fun.